everyone and welcome to our Splatoon stream where we're showing off the review copy of the game. So we're going to start it up right now and uh, see what's going on here. Now there are just one or two things I can't show off about the game so I'm going to throw up this little image you see right now when that happens. Um, so it should only pop up like once or twice in this. It shouldn't pop up too much at all hopefully so I won't have to throw it up much. Um, but yeah we'll be showing off single player, uh, maybe some multiplayer if we can get into a match. And what else, whatever else you guys want to see, basically. So if we can get into, um, you know, if we, I saw some people want, want to know how the weapons work and all that. So we'll try and show those off. Um, show off some of the stores. Yeah, should be should be cool. I just waiting for the game to start up here. Here we go. All right. So um, here we are being met by, of course, the great celebrities of the Splatoon world. Um, so every time you start up the game, the sisters will will meet. Uh, they'll tell you about what's happening in the in the game's multiplayer. So they'll tell you the current stage is being selected, and they'll give you um, I don't know, like sometimes little tips or little jokes about the stage. Uh, so this I believe this changes every two hours. So every time you start up the game, you'll see them, and every time, um, like every couple hours, you'll see them pop up. So if you're currently in a lobby uh, while playing, it will kick you back out to this to find out what maps are coming up because the maps you know, do change. Alright, so here we are in Inkopolis. Uh, I did a quick tour of this before already, um, so you probably have a basic idea of what it looks like. There's a tower right there with a multiplayer uh, component. Here are the shops, where you can go buy equipment and the like, weapons. Um, the, the stuff on the right here is mostly just for looks, except for the Battle Dojo up there. Uh, down here on the right, of course, is this cool dude who, will, who you can buy equipment from, um, or order equipment from. You buy interacting with these guys in the lobby or in the uh, uh, whatever the hub here and you can actually order their equipment that they're wearing and these are people you encountered online so so you might see some other journalists around here anyways uh yeah and here's a little amiibo section where you can scan an amiibo so I think what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna try and get into a multiplayer match um, right now I figure it's probably the best time to try and get in that we don't waste a whole bunch of time later so let's see if there's any multiplayer action going on I really hope there is, but I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Just sitting in the lobby, doing nothing. Hey, alright! That was perfect! Yes, it was almost like it was meant to be. Looks like we got Krista from Nintendo in here. Uh, as well as... Uh, I missed other names. Alright, and we're on one of my favorite maps. Alright, it's time to bring it! You're gonna see some Andre Domination live, hopefully. Oh, I'm kinda nervous now, but I play way worse when I'm talking. So maybe I just won't talk at all. Uh, so my thing is I always try to get to the center as quick as possible. Or at least to this, to this section. And so I'm just spraying all over the place. Probably less so than I normally do. Because I'm talking and I hate talking while playing. Um, I'm trying to build up my special ability, which I have right now. Which is, in my case, is a shield. And the shield is awesome. The bubbler. It is great. Makes you invincible for several seconds. Sometimes longer, depending on your uh, secondary stats. Alright, so this area is pretty covered right now. You don't you don't want to waste time covering every area. It's just a waste of time. It's all about just covering as much in as little time as possible. So you don't want to spend time like spraying in the corners if you don't have to. Shield time! Right, I probably didn't even need it that time, but I like to be safe. Those rollers, they can be a little bit unpredictable. Alright, so so far we are kind of destroying these guys. But that can change in an instant. There we go. Now I said don't aim for the corners, but there's nothing better for me to aim for right now, so... Might as well. You might as well do some cleanup when you have the chance. I just really do love how this game feels. It is so fun, dude, just to uh, swim through the inky lay down. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, see, that guy was being sneaky. LP Marcus! I mean, granted, he was wasting time by just being sneaky there, I think, because he has, like, no terrain covered right now. So here's a super jump. You can jump to any teammate's location on the map. It is really handy. You definitely should be using it. Okay. 
Let's go clean up this area. Oh, 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 that guy's, that guy's doing my strategy. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. I'm helping my own shield, buddy. Yeah, we weren't expecting that, were ya? Okay, we should probably go see how things are doing up there again. Looks like they have taken over that little area I claimed first. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. So it's time to reclaim this section with a superior blue ink. The best color, of course. I almost got my shield back. There we go. I might as well activate in the final few seconds. There's no reason to otherwise, or no reason not to. And I, th we definitely got it. Yep. Actually, that was closer than I expected, though, so not too bad for them. Alright, so I think that's a pretty good... Yeah, 1,300 points. I did pretty good just by talking. Not nearly as many kills as I've gone before. So some people are asking why my rank is only C... is C-. minus. Um, that is for rank battles only. And, um... Let's go ahead and... Should we do one more? Yeah, we got time for one more, I think. Uh, that's only for rank battles. Uh, and rank battles are actually pretty rough. Now, C- is as low as you can go. I think you start off at C-, actually, or C, one of the two. Um, and I've won pretty much an even amount of matches, or, you know, won and lost an even amount of matches in that mode. So, I haven't got any points. I haven't seen anyone in rank battles yet above a C. So... Um, yeah, so it, it seems to be that's going to be the one that's going to be a little bit difficult to climb up in rank. Uh, and I'm not nearly as good at rank battles as I am at Turf 4. Like, Turf 4, I win almost every match I'm in. Uh, rank battles is a different story. I definitely need more practice at that. Alright, so we don't get here in a few seconds. I'm gonna drop out and go, uh, go back to the hub. That's a pretty good way to start, I think. I'm pretty happy with it. There, here we go. Here's CD. Alright, so this will be our, uh, final multiplayer match, I think. Um, we could try to rank battles. I'm almost confident anyone's playing it right now. It's something we've had you set up a lot of time. There's not many people are ranked 10 yet. Going to my old strategy again, and by the way, motion controls are great for this. I they allow you to aim faster than you can with a with the analog stick alone. So there is one guy right behind me. Jesus, get off me! There we go, my shield now. Yeah, I like that. Oh, he might he might get me. No, nope. all right, get me out of here. Jeez, all right, these guys I think picked up my strategy. Is that Sprinkler or was that person? I'm not sure. Yeah, this was a squid hop. Oh, he got me. You can go pretty far with a squid hop. Where this patty is. You can do some pretty slick moves um, in squid form. So I've noticed in Turf War, generally, you don't usually want to be around your teammates much. Um, nothing annoys me more than when I'm going down a path and a teammate's right behind me doing the exact same thing. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Those guys are... Just a couple of them. Yeah, you definitely want to be spread apart in this mode. It's all about just covering terrain. Looks like they have this area covered pretty well, so... Let's get this area back. And 
have taken this guy's path from him. <laughs> I probably should have taken a different path, but whatever. Going against my own logic. So it's amazing how fast, like, they, people can just come up, uh, just reclaim an area. This, the tides of war can change really quickly in this mode. Yeah, we we got that again. Not even a question. Uh, people were asking why I'm not using my sub weapon. Um, sub weapon I found is way, is usually more effective for. Uh, uh, is that the same score I got last time? Um, is usually more effective for I found rank battles. Um, the reason I'm not using it here is because it uses a lot of ink. And I can cover more terrain by using my normal weapon than the sub weapon. Um, and I don't think I would well, die once in that match, I think. So it's not. I, I haven't found it to be a huge use. Um, so, okay, that's the multiplayer. I think that's pretty good. Uh, some people were also asking about the. what the toasty meant. Um, right there on the right, the rank. I, bl that, I believe that rating resets every time you play. So every time you hop on for the day, or rather by, by every day. So that shows my rating for today. I'm a toaster right now. Um, we can go up to, like, you're so hot, or even higher than that, I believe. And, uh, in fact, if I exit back to the plaza here, um, I'll show you what, what partially that rating does. And I can go talk to, was it, Judd over here. And based on that rating, he'll give me a bonus. So he just gave me 100 coins for doing well. And uh, I think yesterday I earned like 1,100 coins for I played multiple matches and I got really high, a much higher rank, and he gave me a lot more, um, a lot more money for it. So, so that was pretty cool. So nice little bonus. So make sure to check in with him every day, at least, you know, I guess pref preferably at the end of the day. Um, I had forgotten to, and I missed out on a lot of free money. So speaking of which, let's go check out the shops real quick. Um, we will swing by the weapon store here first. I'm looking fairly fresh. I do love the personalities, by the way, of the characters in the shops here. They are really great. Alright, looks like some new weapons are available for me to buy. Dynamo Roller! Ooh, this sounds like fun. Alright, so I can ink so it comes with a sprinkler and the echo lake locator. Alright, I like that. Let's check that out. Let me ten thousand. Luckily I can afford that a couple times over. But I think I only have one roller so far, so this will be a nice addition. Yeah, let's go and equip it and we will Let's test it out. Out on the range. Whoa, that thing is huge looking, jeez. This is like some, uh, like Hyrule Warriors weapon. Okay, so it is really slow on the attack. Um, but, did you see the range on that? That has a really wide range. Uh, and I think that goes even farther, too, than the normal splat roll, or than the uh, normal roller, I should say. Um, let's see its attack damage. Or attack power. 128. That seems... Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty... So that can take down the things pretty quick. I mean, well, plus I'll be an instant kill anyway if that were a person. Alright, let's, so let's check out the secondaries here. So that's a sprinkler. I have not played around with that one too much yet. And then we have the echo locator. So what's cool about this is it shows the location of all the enemies. Um, not only, it shows them on the radar, so including for your teammates. So any teammates in the area can see where the enemies are on the radar. But for you as well, you can see the lines appear showing exactly where they are, which is awesome. Um, if you're like in a, if you're engaged in a uh, battle with someone and they're hiding behind walls, you can track exactly where they are. It's really useful. 
Okay, so that's a look at the range. Um, we will probably come back here later on. But let's go ahead and check out some of the uh, single player, I think. Actually, real quick, let's check out the rest of these shops too, real quick. So you can cycle through them, and here's actually one of the little details. You may have noticed this before. I love this detail, though, when you're cycling between so shops. Like, they, they lose their balance and everything in the background shakes. So you can see this guy, the uh, little squid thing here, actually holds on to the clothing in the back to keep it in place. Um, that's just a cool little touch. And some people were wondering about what else that fish says. So here, let's go ahead and try buying something from her. Oh, now one more thing here, too. Do you see those question marks? So, uh, the more expensive items have more of them, and those are powers you unlock by playing with that equipment and leveling it up. And the powers do seem to be assigned randomly. So once you unlock the first question mark, for instance, you unlock them one after another after you keep leveling up. Um, it, it does like a little Mario Kart 8 roulette wheel thing, and then it chooses one of the powers. So basically, the more question marks you have, the better, but the more potential perks you can get for that, for that item. So let's go ahead and check out what this one has currently, and it has the Ink Saver, which will mean you consume less ink when you're playing with it. Um... So let's go and buy it, sure. This hat looks pretty cool. And we can actually try it on right now. And there's a fish saying, you'll be back. So we can try it on. Yeah, it's pretty stylish, right? So it's interesting because um, you're inclined to stick with gear you've already upgraded because it's good. But if you want different powers, you're going to have to go to a lower level of gear first in order to level it up. It's a pretty interesting mechanic for online, because you are temporarily weaker, but it will make you eventually stronger. Okay, um, I, I do love, I love this guy. And the music, too. The music actually changes per, by the shop, too. Um, alright, but let's go ahead and get out of here. And let's move on to single player. And for single player, we're going to head down this thing right here. And unfortunately, we are going to have to go to... Our uh, Squiddler screen, our spoiler <laughs> screen, for just a second. There's something here I can't show you, really. Um, so once I get past it, you'll be good. Okay. I think. I think we're good. I, I think I can show you now. Alright. Uh, let me look at the level list here of levels I've shown off already. Let's see, where did it go? Okay, um... I don't think we've shown... Level... Six? No, I don't think we've shown six yet. Oh, actually, no, we have shown this one before. Oh, maybe, whatever, who cares, we'll show it again now, why not? Um, so this is Octo Valley, by the way, the single player hub. This is where you access all the levels of single player campaign. It's pretty cool. And in order to actually find a level or unlock a level, you actually have to spray it with ink. So you can see it right now, but before it was invisible, I had to spray it first. Um, before actually before we do that one. Yeah, let's do it. Going in. Alright, I see some people are taking issue with my squiddlers pun. <laughs> Alright. So the single player campaign actually feels quite a bit different than multiplayer. I mean, the core mechanics are of course the same, but there's a lot more platforming going on here. Uh, it's it's a very interesting um, mix, and I, I quite enjoy it so far. So the idea of this level is you're riding these fans around, um, these platforms around by spraying the fans. You could say I'm a fan of the fans. I don't know why I'm doing that, I'm just wasting time right now <laughs> instead of riding the platform. I keep, uh, I keep hitting the platform stuff of them with the uh, grenades. Now I can actually switch, in a single player campaign, you can actually switch weapons, uh, or secondary weapons, on the D-pad in the bottom left. So I will switch to, uh, to the, um, oh, I forget what the thing is, could the Seeker? Yeah, so that thing is like the bomb choose. Basically go right for an enemy. Actually, well, they, well, I guess on my bomb choose, they actually home in on the enemy, which is awesome. Alright. 
right. And you may have noticed in the background too, so we are underground right now, you can tell by the ceiling there, but also the panels, though it looks like, looks like we're in, you know, it's a sky, that you can actually see the panels that the walls are built out of, and those are appear to be projections on the wall. And then of course there is a giant light bulb functioning as a uh, sun here. Ah, oh, darn it. And I think the uh, music in this level might be my favorite in the game. Or in the single player level campaign. So for these guys, I need to throw a secondary to distract them. If I can get my ink back. Alright, I'll take this guy out first. Oh, I'm out of ink? Jeez. Oh, right, I don't have a secondary. I forgot I need to switch back. Alright, there we go. He's distracted now, and we take him out. So that was the uh, other one we have right now, is the... Okay, well, I just wasted that, but <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, that is the... Um... I forget what it's actually called, but... It's like also like a grenade. But the secrets are actually a lot of fun. It's something I need to play around with it more in multiplayer. Some people have been really good with them. And they do live in ink trail that you can follow too, which is really handy. Oh, no. And here we are. Break him free and mission complete. So apparently some people are asking about how the locking in a color works. I talked about this in the Q&A. So let me show you real quick. So you can see I'm green right now. Um, and actually, before I show you, let me grab a different level real quick. Let's head over to World 3, or Section 3. And... Let's see, let's find... Let's find a different, uh, different level to go to, actually. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Oh, that's a boss. Maybe we'll show him off later. Is that the one I was just at? No, it's not. Okay. Alright, so it looks like... I think we would have yellow ink in this level. Um, based on the picture. So, instead though, if I go to the option screen on the gamepad... Oh, I can't show you right now, actually. I can't... Yeah, so I, unfortunately I can't show you right now. I'll show you later. Um, but basically if I were to lock in the color, I would stay the color I'm now. So I would keep playing as green instead of the yellow it would switch me to in the level. Um, but before I enter this level, let me show you something else. And that's how upgrading equipment works in single player. So you just press the plus button, it'll take you to this screen. Now this is completely separate from the multiplayer shops you saw earlier, where you buy gear for the multiplayer section. This is completely separate, and this is where you use the fish eggs you find in the, uh, in the game, and you can upgrade your weapons, as well as buy the additional weapons. So this is where I bought the splat bombs, the burst bombs, and the seekers, uh, which is what I was using um, just a few moments ago. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go upgrade our gun here. It will increase the rate of fire. And let's go ahead and upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade the seeker. Why not? The blast radius goes up. It can only be a good thing. And then let's check out this level here with our newly upgraded. I was going to call her a minion, but she's an inkling. <laughs> not a minion. She's a good guy. Good girl, I should say. Uh, Octoling Assault. Alright, here we are. You may recognize this level as a multiplayer level. Uh, this time with Octolings in the single player campaign. The time of day, as well, is different, which is cool. So the Octolings are basically like CPU opponents, right? They can do the same things I can. They're not the smartest, but then again, neither am I. <laughs> but it is pretty fun to play to take- Oh, they got me there! They are fun to take to uh, take on because they are the closest thing you will get to a single player version of multiplayer. So yeah, they can hide in the ink. They can swim in your ink too for whatever reason, or try to rather. And by the way, I love this level in multiplayer. It is so fun to go up and down these uh, these jumps here. Yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, we should probably go for the uh, Octolings. Whoa, you can super jump! Now you're super dead. Alright, then we got a shield, so we're a little bit stronger right now. This is a great place, by the way, in multiplayer. Although you're also a huge target here, too. But it's a good area for covering ground. Hey! My shield! Alright, let's try a seeker on, on her. Oh, seeker! Get, seek her? Get it? <laughs> Just seek her? Uh oh. Alright, the seekers are not working out for me here. Oh my god! Alright. No more, no more Mr. Nice Squidling. This is nice squidling. Alright, I guess we go for the shield again, maybe. Oh, they like throwing those things around, jeez. Come on, Seeker! I want one of these to hit them. Yes! There we go! Mission accomplished. Alright. With our shield. Alright. Let's get out of here. Here we go! Let's see, what do we want to show next? Um, show I th Mission 13. I don't think we've shown this one yet. Yeah. Uh, someone's asking why I chose a girl over the boy. Really no particular reason. It's the one I think I'm most used to. So, I, I think I just... Generally, like how they look a little bit better, but I think the boys are cool too, so... I didn't put much thought into it. So here's an interesting mechanic where you need to... Uh, you need to go through this gate here in squid form, otherwise it'll push you out of the way, and you'll fall off. So I definitely get a bit of Mario Galaxy vibe from this game with how you hop between platforms in the single, single player campaign. Much like using the launch stars in Galaxy, which is something I love. See, I'm using... I'm using... Uh, I, I'm using actually a pretty even mixture of the motion controls and um, the right stick. Like, it's it's weird, actually. I don't even think about what I'm doing. Like, it is a... Like, it's purely instinct... <laughs> or not instinct, but like second nature at this point. With, um... Like, I'm not even quite sure, like, what rules I'm using to govern when I use one or the other. But it feels very natural. And I feel like having... I feel people who master the mixture, like, will do the best online. So definitely giving the motion controls a shot. It is definitely worth it. Oh, yeah, made it. <laughs> Get up there. Almost fell off there, jeez. So there are quite, like, every single player level for the, for the most part feels pretty different from each other. Like, each one finds some new way of mixing in 
Oh god. Uh, so one thing, actually, real quick, before I continue, is you do fall as an inkling when you're right when you're uh, on the wall. So, like, if I don't keep pressing up, I will keep dropping. Um, so the single part missions actually do all feel very different from one another. Again, like Mario Galaxy. They find a new thing to do in almost every level. And it makes every level feel very distinct. Uh, someone's asking what's on the gamepad in single player. So, um, it shows... Uh, let me double check in the next mission. I almost never look at it in single player. But I believe it just shows a map of your local area. So, we will move on to... I think mission 10? I don't think I should know one yet either. So... Yeah, Inkerel Skyscape. This is a fun one, actually. I, although I could say that about every level, really. <laughs> um... So, yeah, let me take a look at the gamepad. And... Yeah, so it shows a zoomed-in view of the area around me right now. Um, and that's it. It doesn't really do anything else of interest, so... It's definitely better for single or for multiplayer. It's not much use in single player. But yeah, you can't super jump or anything, so... So yeah, these are like the fish eggs, of course, the currency. So what's cool is when you're on the uh, ink rail, you can jump really high. And you can do some cool things with that. So I'll do it here. Get an ambush on this guy. Bam! Whee! <laughs> That's just really fun. Alright. And of course, Captain Cuttlefish is giving us some tips along the way. That's what he does. I had to use a jump there in order to climb the wall. We're gonna have to do it a few more times here. Alright, and yeah. So you can see how giant the levels are, actually. They are pretty expansive. Alright, let's get the power-up thing there. And it is a, uh, Inkzuka. Which is pretty useful right now. Oh, I did not make great use of it, though. And we got another one, awesome. That purple link. Uh, someone's asking if I can show a rank battle. I mean, I would try, but honestly, there's not. There's probably not going to be anyone playing right now. Um, there aren't many journalists uh, at level ten or above, and trying. And we've had to coordinate um, the rank battle so far. So I don't want to get stuck in a lobby for several minutes doing nothing. <laughs> Alright, this may look satisfying, I can assure you it's even more satisfying playing it. That just feels really good jumping platform to platform. Alright, you guys wanna see a boss fight? You wanna do a boss? I think we'll show off the level 2 boss. So, not a huge spoiler, and I've, I've already shown him off before in the gameplay video. But, um, I think he is a, I think he's a really cool one. Actually, I, I would say that about all the bosses in this game, actually, but... Uh, yeah. Alright, so let's take a quick look under here. Yeah, looks a little bit different than the standard level. Uh, someone's asking the game has a story. It does, actually. Not much of one, but there is a story there. So, um, I can tell you there's even more story beyond the point of the game that I can't show or really talk about. So, yeah, there is... So this is definitely a story mode. Like, it really is a... It's a really a full campaign. Um... I think the only reason people may have the impression that it's not is because Nintendo really hasn't shown much of it yet. 
or should you know I mean they really did focus on the multiplayer for the most part so all right so um with this guy when you target these little bulb things on the sides and once he's spinning out of control we need to climb up him to his tentacle and spray it and now we get on that super jumped away and he's not happy he did not like that <laughs> evidently It's like a little belly button or something. Alright, so now there's gonna be a couple more of them. And I actually never really realized that before, but we can use these as shields, I'm guessing, against these attacks. Oh, you can break apart those things. Neat. Alright. Finding new stuff out about this game every day. I like his little shoes there. And his, like, runny nose or whatever is going on there. So what I love about the bosses is that they actually take full advantage of the gameplay of the unique Splatoon gameplay mechanics, and as a result, the bosses actually feel really, uh, really unique and fun in this game. Like normally, I'm not a huge fan of bosses. I usually find them, I usually just find them kind of annoying. Uh, the ones here, I've actually really enjoyed. Let's see if I can throw a grenade at that. Oh. Yeah, looks like I can. I'm not sure if it's actually doing much damage, though. No, I don't think it is. Alright. One more to go. And then, I need to go back on top. And there we are. Got some fish eggs and uh, this dude, that fish. <laughs> All right, um, let's go ahead and move on to. Let's see, we about twenty three minutes left. Um. Let's we can show off some of uh, a little bit more of world. Actually, no. There's there's something else here I want to show off. I think. Let's see. Actually, no. I'm we'll gonna go back to world three. We've done that one. So what's cool is you can just tap on the levels. Okay, I've, I've shown this one before in the video. It's a fun one. Nick Rail. Oh, here we go. Oh, these guys are annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's go in. Let's do it! Alright. I don't know why I did that. There was no reason to spray that <laughs> good platform there. I just want to. It's just fun to spray things. Alright, so these guys are jerks. Um, if you touch it, it's basically an instant death. Um, and they can track you. So he just saw me, and he's tracking his little laser beam. Oh god, oh god, oh jeez. Alright, so there is a locked door around here somewhere. A, like, cage thing. So that key I just picked up is gonna help us unlock it. It's, in fact, you can see the little thing showing us where to go. Here we go. Uh, so some people are wondering about the sunken scrolls. What uh, uh, Nintendo was a little bit vague in the embargo. How much I can tell you about them? Um, what I can say is there one. There is one for every level, and you can use them to unlock additional stuff in the game, uh, like weapons and the like. Beyond that, I don't know how much I can tell you. So I I will hold off. <laughs> they are cool though. They are worth seeking out. Oh, that's not where I need to go. What's up, buddy? So I don't think you can actually kill those guys. Oh, crap. Am I gonna be trapped? 
Oh, you better get down here. Are right, you turn around good? All right. Hurry up. You jerk! Alright, you know what? He's gonna get a seeker to the face. What? <laughs> oh man, this is bad. Right, I'm still gonna seek him to the face, hopefully. Alright, I'm ready for him this time. Oh, he was. Did I kill him? Yeah, I killed him. Alright, good. So, um, lives actually, speaking of which, top left corner shows how many lives I have, I have one left, you start off with three, and what's kind of cool is actually a smart way of doing it, there's no like one-ups or anything in the game, so the lives don't carry over from level to level, instead, um, you just get three and that's it, so once you run out, you're done for this level, and then you can, you know, restart, I think it makes a lot of sense, that way you don't run into like having a hundred lives like you did in Mario Galaxy or whatever, okay, so I need to go grab the, uh, the key, should be up here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Oh, oh, no, that was a mistake. <laughs> that was a mistake. Ah, oh, darn it. I don't know what I was thinking there. I thought I could make that jump for some reason. Attempt number two. We won't do a stupid jump. So, uh, the sunken scrolls, by the way, are actually pretty tricky to find. Like, if you aren't actively looking for them, you will miss most of them in the, in the game. Um, so I actually have to go back and replay a lot of the missions, but I did not find them my first time. These guys are actually pretty terrifying. This actually is probably the most Metal Gear Solid like section in the game. Oh, and actually, you know what? I take it back. This is actually where the gamepad actually does come in useful. I forgot about this. You actually can see them on the gamepad, and it also shows the location of keys as well. So you actually can't play this like a Metal Gear Solid game by looking at the gamepad and uh, avoiding them. So it's that's pretty neat. Oh, get out of the purple ink, I need some ink. Alright, where's... Ah, oh, don't turn around. That's where I came from. Where's this key? How do I get to the key, rather? There we are. Alright. Here we go, let's get out of here. Looks like we made it to the end. So I think I'll show off one more single player mission. Should have time for that, then we'll go uh, show off some weapons in the uh, weapon shop, I think. Okay, this one's pretty cool. Let's do this one real quick. I think I may have posted a video on this one or a level like this.
All right, these levels are awesome um, because of this guy, the Octo Striker. Oh god, yep, that thing. That is terrifying, and it will destroy you. So, I mean, it's basically, uh, was it the Ink Strike from uh, Multiplayer or, or Ink Nado, I think? Whatever it is. But it, oh god, jeez. It has a really cool sound effect, too, that company is right here. So you definitely have to stay on the move in this one. Keep an eye out and ear out for that. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to be showing those locations, technically, so... We'll pretend that didn't happen. Did not see anything there in that corner. Uh, what's this thing I just got? Let's find out. Oh, it's a bubbler, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, that was a complete waste. So you have to be very care careful with the, uh, the grates or the, um, some of the walkways in this game. If you turn to a squid, you will just drop right through them. That's something that'll come up in multiplayer as well. Oh, no! Jeez! What's over on the sign here? Oh, uh, little squid drawings or octopus drawings. All right, let's head to the UFO. You guys got a pretty cool headpiece on. So this guy's the source of all my problems in this level. Oh, oh, jeez, and got him. All right. Alright, so I think, uh, so people want to see, it looks like, things from the shops, and, yeah, more weapons and the like. So, uh, I'm also seeing some requests for Amiibo. I would show you the Amiibo if I had the Amiibo. Um, they should be coming in soon, but I don't have them yet. Uh, if you do want to see the Amiibo mission, I have posted one on our channel from a preview event. So go check that out. Uh, before I leave, let's go upgrade some more gear here. Actually, we should have done this earlier, so we can show it off, but whatever. And... Yeah, let's increase the ink tank. Why not? All right. So let's head back to Inkopolis. And real quick, while we're here. So yeah, like I said, here's the amiibo where you can scan in the amiibo. Um, and we can actually go check out the sisters here. See their studio. And that's a TV that they project on. Or that they talk in front of, rather. That's cool. Alright, let's head into the shop real quick. Actually, yeah, let's head into the clothing shop. Okay, so I already have everything I want there. Um, these shoes look pretty nice, and they have the three... Stat boost. So let's go ahead and go with. Yeah, I think I'll buy these. We won't equip them, but we will check them out right now. Yeah. And I'm almost out of money, so I can afford a lot of cheap things now, but. Not much else. So, okay, let's go ahead and check out some more weapons real quick. Uh, let's see. Which one do I want to try first? So we've done the Dynamo Roller. Let's check out the... Yeah, let's check out the Rapid Blaster. Why not? So this one's interesting. So it is a slow-firing weapon, but you can see it explodes at the end, uh, causing ink to spray all over. Um, 
And we can go check out, let's see what damage it does. Okay, so it's gonna be destroying the two shots. Let's head to the stronger ones up here. See, that, seems, that actually seems pretty slow to me. It's rate of fire is a pretty big problem for me. Now, if we actually, um, we can actually bring up the weapons here by pressing minus, so we can actually see its stats. And yeah, its impact isn't great. Um, but let's check out the uh, secondary too. I think it's just mine. So that will explode if someone gets close. Um, here, it will explode based on time, I believe. Yeah, there it goes. So I've run into those a few times in multiplayer, and it is really annoying. So <laughs> I imagine those can be good, but they can also be set off if someone sprays them with their color ink, I believe. All right, let's try... Oh, what's the... Uh, oh, it's just a bubbler for the special. Oops. Stay. All right, let's check out the... Aerospray RG. So this is Rapid Fire. I definitely seem to be a fan of the Rapid Fire weapons. Um, because if your aim isn't right on, it doesn't matter that much. You can quickly compensate. And this one has... Yeah, the Ink Strike. Um, which is awesome. This is great, so I'll put it right... I'll put it right next to me. So you can spray anywhere on the map. You just you activate it and you tap on the gamepad. You probably saw it in the uh, Test Fire demo. Um, it is awesome for uh, rank battles, for uh, splat zones. It can basically take over an entire zone by itself. So quite often, the match that I've played so far, you'll just see like Ink Strike after Ink Strike after Ink Strike of people um, just trying to reclaim control. So it is really cool and extremely dangerous and a lot of fun. All right, let's move on to the Splatter Scope. This one's neat. I actually was just playing around with this yesterday, but I didn't realize this can happen. Because with most charged weapons, um, well, I'll show you. If you charge it up, it actually zooms in like a sniper. And that's something I hadn't seen before. Now, it doesn't mean it has a range of a typical sniper still, but it is pretty far. Yeah, see, got that one. But I don't think it'll get that, that one out there. It's right even higher. It was getting close, I think, but... And you can move around, by the way, even while aiming, but it is pretty slow. But I am not a huge fan of the weapon, of the charge weapons in general quite yet. I've been playing mostly Turf War, so, and the charge weapons don't seem ideal for that mode. Um, they do seem like a better choice, though, for uh, Splat Zones, where you do want to kill the enemies more often than not. Um, actually, yeah, let me, let's check out the bomb rush. Let me get to the covering up terrain. Actually, check this out. There's actually a reset button on the gamepad you can tap to reset the map. And, yeah. Cover all new fresh terrain. Here we go. Bombs away! Yeah, this is going to be a pretty annoying special, too, to deal with on the opposing side. It's a 96... Gal. So the rate fire is pretty slow on this one. But I think it's pretty powerful, yeah. Uh, someone wants to know about the Kraken. Do I have a Kraken super weapon? Ah, here we go. Yeah, I'll show you the Kraken. This thing, I, I can tell you, this is really annoying to deal with online. People use a Kraken. Um, it's something I haven't tried myself online yet. But, uh... It has taken me down many a time. Here we go. So it lays out its own ink path. It is ex it's fast, it's powerful if you do this move. It can just destroy people very easily. Let's do it one more time. There we go. Then we'll reset the arena real quick. Oh, it reset. Darn it, it reset my thing too? Lame. Alright, we're almost there. There we go. Yeah, so it does quite a bit of damage. It can really help you get away. As well as it provides a, you know, a 
a route for your teammates to follow too, which is nice. All right, anything else we want to check out? Let's check out the uh, jet squelcher. Ooh, new squiffer. I'm gonna try this one. What is this? Oh, okay, it's another charge weapon. All right. Anything else want? Yeah, so that's a fair amount of them. Um, since we have a few minutes left, let's go ahead and check out. Let's even get into a multiplayer match real quick. We, we, we should have time for one more if we can get in. If not, then we might be stuck in a lobby for a while. <laughs> oh, man, I do not want that. Actually, yeah, I guess we could try a different weapon set. Um, let's go with the... Where was that big... Did I buy the big roller? I did, yeah. Wait. Oh, I have it equipped. Yeah, alright. Let's get, let's get some better gear on here, though. I think. Actually, that looks pretty good. Actually, no, I think I'm set. So we'll just tap on lobby, get there faster, and see if we can get into a ranked battle. Hopefully people are playing. Wanna try out this this roller. This doesn't look promising so far, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, nope. I'll right, we'll give it one more shot. If not, we'll go play around in Ecopolis or something. Yeah, that's the only problem uh, with the you know, playing the review copy is there's not always people online, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. All right. And I like my odds so far. <laughs> my level looks pretty good uh, compared to these guys. Come on, one more person, hop in here. So I don't recognize anyone here. So quite often I'll run into journalist names I recognize. Uh, no one here is ringing a bell though. All right, here we go. Oh, they are level 18. I think I played with him before. Hopefully I'm on his team. <laughs> Unfortunately I'm not my I'm not my default weapon. Oh, on my best map, too. Man. Alright, this is... I, I'll be straight up. I'm probably not going to do as good as I normally do, but I don't play with the roller that much, so... Definitely more of a uh, Splattershot Junior person these days. Oh, this feels so slow! By comparison. Oh, man. Come, on. Come here! Yes! Oh no, 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 no! Yeah, it's definitely a lot a bigger pain to climb walls now than it was before. Alright, so that the Echo Locator, I think? Oh, yep. Mr. Remedy remedied me. So I'm going to be really curious to see what my score is going to be with this weapon. Because before it usually has been, um, like in the 1300s. Mutually assured destruction. Oh, I've missed Remedy again. I have a feeling it's not going to be anywhere close as high with the roller. Yeah, the roller is definitely a pain to get around with. <laughs> To do. Darn it! Mr. Remedy! Every time, man! Alright, there's a huge battle going on over there looking at uh, everyone's location as revealed. He that oh my god! Get out of here! No! Oh! So little I can do with the roller. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh man. 
I don't know if I've ever played with a roller before. We're doing okay though. It's about it looks pretty even right now. Oh god! Ran right into that one. Oh, this... This is close still. Oh, what? I just barely missed him. They may... I don't know. They may have this one. Let's find out. It's gonna be a... Uh... Suspense! Yes! Alright, I'm gonna predict I got maybe 700, 800 points. Come on. Wow, yep, 800. So, definitely better with the Slayer Shot Jr. Um, rollers are not my advised weapon for this mode, though. I don't know, maybe there's a better strategy with them. Alright, guys, there you have it. That covers our Splatoon stream. Unfortunately, we are at our hour limit. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked our stream, make sure to subscribe to our Twitch channel. Um, we'd appreciate it. And of course, you can find more Splatoon on our YouTube channel. We'll be posting this up there if you want to rewatch it or whatever. Um, as well as upcoming Splatoon content. We'll have tons more. We have more, you know, we'll be showing off some more cool stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and catch you later. Bye.